Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. Kazuha is coming, and that means a bunch of hype for our upcoming favorite Ronin Samurai. Mihoyo has recently given us a preview of Kazuha's banner, and in this video, I'll be presenting many things to consider on why you should and also shouldn't pull for Kazuha. First and foremost, if you think his design is amazing, and you are suffering from a severe case of husbando drought, nothing I can say or do can save your primos from their inevitable fate of being sucked dry by Kazuha's banner. But if you're on the fence about summoning for Kazuha, or need some reasons on both why you should summon or not summon, then this is the video for you. The biggest reason to summon on Kazuha's banner is Bennett. That's right, they're putting best boy Bennett onto Kazuha's banner to really make you think twice about skipping this banner. If you don't have Bennett, I highly recommend to at least pull a few times to test your luck at getting him. And if you already have Bennett, his constellations 1 and 5 are absolutely incredible. Constellation 1 is by far Bennett's best constellation, removing the HP restriction on his attack buff while also boosting that attack buff. If you have a typical free to play setup for your Bennett, which is at level 80 with the best ring desire and level 9 burst, Constellation 1 boosts his burst attack buff from 646 to 782, which is a whopping 21% increase and a huge improvement to the quality of life while using his burst. Bennett's Constellation 5 adds another 18% additional attack thanks to it providing 3 additional additional levels to his burst, but do keep in mind that that is an additional 4 constellations for just an 18% boost to his attack buff. And as a quick reminder, I don't recommend getting constellation 6, unless you know what you're doing. So yeah, if you don't have Bennett or want to gun for some additional constellations for him, this might be a great banner to pull on. Now the second reason to pull on this banner is for Kazuha himself. So I can't talk about too much specifics, especially when it comes to his actual numbers, because Kazuha hasn't been released yet. However, I have personally analyzed Kazuha, and Kazuha is looking to be a top tier support character, comparable in performance to Sucrose, Venti, and Jean in terms of damage amplification. Again, I can't go into specific numbers yet, but I will in my next video showcasing Kazuha, but I believe between these four animo support characters, they will each have scenarios that they're better than the others at. Kazuha is likely to have a bit more compatibility with various melee units, especially compared to Venti. Have you tried smacking things with melee attacks in Venti's tornado? Usually doesn't really work out. Kazuha, on the other hand, looks to be able to group enemies quickly with his elemental skill, and then he leaves a small amount of suction for your Diluc to have a field day with. On top of this, Kazuha also looks to be a solid sub-DPS animo character if you build him for animo damage. He's also going to be one of the best abusers of swirl damage as well. There are a couple big reasons not to summon for Kazuha, and those are, as previously mentioned, Sucrose and Venti. Sucrose, Venti, and Kazuha will likely have some serious role overlap, especially Sucrose. Sucrose has reasonable suction and great reaction damage amplification. She also has decent swirl damage output. Kazuha also looks to have reasonable suction and great damage amplification, and Kazuha also looks to be able to do good swirl damage output. Venti is a bit different since his main strength is on his crowd control. Venti has insane suction and also decent damage amplification. Again, all three have similar roles and with different comparative advantages. So if you're stretched thin on resources and already have Venti and Sucrose, then Kazuha may not be a very necessary character for you. Keep in mind that the current Abyss 12-3 is tailor-made for Kazuha, and running two animo characters on each team is actually extremely powerful for the current 12-3. However, the future is uncertain, and I find it hard to imagine needing so many animo supports across all your teams for very long. The previous reason of role overlap with Venti and Sucrose can actually be viewed as a potential reason to pull for Kazuha as well. If you don't have Venti or Sucrose, obtaining Kazuha can help your two teamed abyss experience tremendously. Kazuha will have top tier damage amplifying potential, as well as copious amounts of animo application. 
Kazuha should also be able to do quite a bit of Animo damage should you choose to build him in that route, but I personally would recommend building him with Elemental Mastery. Either way, Kazuha's burst also appears to have the largest Animo hitbox in the game, but that can only be confirmed after he's actually released. So yeah, if you don't have Venti and or or Sucrose, or you don't like one of them and don't plan to build one of them, then perhaps consider pulling for Kazuha. <laughs> The next thing to consider are the two other characters on Kazuha's banner, Rosaria and Razor. Let's start with Rosaria. Rosaria's constellations are amazing for her cryo damage output. Over the entire course of her burst and assuming you melt every hit, Rosaria can do around 117,345 damage. At Constellation 2, Rosaria's burst does 34% more damage thanks to the additional ticks and duration on her burst. And finally, at Constellation 5, Rosaria's burst will end up doing 59% overall more damage thanks to the additional 3 levels to her burst. If you're looking to upgrade your sub DPS Rosaria, this is a great banner to do so, especially considering Bennett comes with it as well. Finally, Rosaria's Constellation 6 makes her the go-to cryo support for any electrophysical DPS character like Razor, who also happens to be on this banner, Fischl, and Kachin, who can both be played as physical damage characters. Constellation 6 Rosaria is also a great support for Eula as well. Now one big reason why you shouldn't pull for Kazuha is a lot of Kazuha's damage amplifying capabilities are unfortunately locked behind the pay to win upcoming 5 star Freedom Sworn Sword. The upcoming 5 star weapon banner has this brand new 5 star weapon as well as the Skyward Atlas I believe. To summarize this weapon, it will substantially boost normal, charged, and plunge attacks after two elemental reactions. Kazuha will indeed be one of the best users of this sword, and with this sword he will undoubtedly be one of the best damage amplifiers in the game, being able to reduce resistances by 40% with a viridescent veneer, and can add up to 40% or so bonus damage. With this weapon at Refinement 5, he will also add 40% attack and 32% bonus damage. However, that is at Refinement 5. And also, without this weapon at Refinement 5, Kazuha is likely only going to add 40% resistance shred and around 40% bonus damage. Guess who else does something just like this? Sucrose. Sucrose can add 40% resistance shred as well as 48% attack thanks to the thrilling tales of dragon slayers. Also, I didn't even mention Sucrose's elemental mastery sharing, which Kazuha does not have at low levels of investment. So unfortunately, a ton of Kazuha's support capabilities and damage amplifying potential is locked behind this pay to win upcoming 5 star sword. So let's summarize why you should and shouldn't pull for Kazuha, starting with why you should. The first reason is Bennett. If you don't have Bennett yet, you should highly consider pulling on this banner. And if you don't have Constellation 1 on Bennett, you should also consider this banner. But also keep in mind that Bennett does often appear in the Star Glitter shop, so you could always just wait for him to appear again. Number 2. Kazuha is a Husbando in this major Husbando drought. So if you're into Husbando and need a new one, then this may just be the most compelling reason for you to pull. Number 3. Kazuha will be a good damage amplifier, arguably as capable as characters like Sucrose or Jean or Venti depending on the scenario. Number 4. Kazuha looks to have some good crowd control capabilities. Now it's difficult to say exactly how good they'll be until he is released and we are able to test them extensively, but as it is now, it looks to be solid. Number 5. Kazuha will be a great abuser of swirl damage, arguably one of the best abusers of swirl damage. Number 6. If you're a whale, Kazuha with a Refinement 5 Freedom Sworn Sword will make your Ganyu do even more damage, potentially more than any other damage amplifier in the game. Number 7. Rosaria is also on his banner, and Rosaria is a great support character in general, and she is also a great cryo sub DPS character. Now as for some reasons as to why you shouldn't pull for Kazuha, you might be saving for Ayaka, Yoamiya, or someone else, and if you get Kazuha, you might end up losing your 50-50 for one of these following characters. Number 2. If you have Venti and Sucrose, and possibly Jean as well, you may find yourself having little reason to actually build and use Kazuha. Number 3. If you want amazing crowd control capabilities, Kazuha probably won't provide that. Instead, a character like Venti would be much better for that. Number 4. Again, Sucrose at free to play levels of investment will provide similar damage amplification as Kazuha can. Also, Sucrose will provide higher damage amplification for elemental reactions. Number 5. You need a main DPS character. 
While you could probably play Kazuha as one, your mileage will go much, much further with a different DPS character like Ganyu, Hu Tao, or someone else. So there you go, my reasons as to why you should and shouldn't pull for Kazuha. Let me know what you think about these points, and also let me know if you plan on pulling for him. I regularly make Genshin Impact content like Constellation Zero showcases, guide videos, DPS showdowns, and more. So smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out. I will be showcasing Kazuha on day one that he is released in the North American servers. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.